Gantt Lake is 2,700 acres and 21 miles of shoreline. It was impounded back in the 1920s and uh, is still owned and operated today by uh, the Alabama Power Company. Now I'm standing here at the uh, public boat ramp on US 29, uh, just north of Gantt. Standing at the top of the ramp and looking around, you can see there's plenty of parking here. We've pretty much got it to ourselves right now. The last of today's boaters just left out a few minutes ago. There are stores in Gantt. And a couple of miles north of here is the RV park. And of course in Andalusia there are hotels and plenty of lodging and stores, grocery stores and whatnot there. Cypress Landing RV Park is uh, about 12 miles north of Andalusia on Highway 29. And when I tell you this place has everything, I mean this place has everything. They have a, uh, a general store where you can get beer, bait, tackle, food, anything else you want. The uh, general store is right next to the laundry. They have a 4,000 square foot venue, uh, event venue, and uh, it includes a bridal suite. Or they, can, they have a fenced area they can host an event outdoors if, if you want also. If, uh, if you don't have an RV, that's not a big problem. They have two cabins that you can rent. They also have tent sites, uh, level tent campgrounds. They, uh, they rent boats. They have two pontoon boats that you can rent. They have non-ethanol gas pumps on land and on the fuel pier. The fuel, the Boat ramp uh, is a it's a five dollar launcher recovery fee if you're not a guest of the campground. They have a, a fish cleaning station out there on the water on the docks, and they're a good Sam campground. Uh, you can save ten percent if you're a good Sam member, or if you're active duty military or a veteran, he'll give you ten percent off. I had a whole bunch of footage of this place. I, I talked with Clifton Hall. He's the owner, and. Uh, the, the place is family oriented, locally owned. He's a, a great guy, easy to talk to, easy to get along with. And when I got home and, and started editing, all the footage that I had shot was gone. I managed to salvage enough to put together this segment and still try to do his place justice. Cypress Landing has 63 campsites for RVs. Most of them are back in. Some of them are pull throughs, like you see here. All of them have full hookups. And there are two sets of restrooms and showers in the park. Sandy Landing on Gantt Lake is a smaller ramp. This one is pretty much on the other end of the lake from where we've been so far. And uh, looking back up the road, there's some people up there tying their kayaks down. And as soon as they're gone, I'll walk back up there and show you. The parking here is fairly limited, but if you go right around that point there and, and on around a little ways, uh, there's a restaurant right on the lake. You can paddle right up to that restaurant when they're open and uh, have dinner if you want. It's called the Buckboard. There's no launch fee here at Sandy Landing. Um, you, if you can find a place to park, you can launch there. Sandy Landing does have a paved ramp. That's a big improvement from the last time I was here. It was a sandy ramp then. Looking at the map that we saw earlier, this was the public boat ramp where we started the series at. The Cypress Landing uh, RV park was right down here. And right now, we're down here at Sandy Landing. The dam is here and then in the Point A Lake. So 
this is Point A Park, and uh, Point A Park is, well, it's $4 a vehicle to, to get in down here to where we're at. They have a double boat ramp, plenty of parking. They also have a swimming area. There's picnic areas and pavilions. Uh, access here is to the main part of the lake. You can see the, the body of the lake here. And, and in fact, you can see the dam uh, right in front of me there. Now, Point A Lake was impounded in the late 20s, um, probably roughly the same time or just after Gant Lake. It's about oh, six or 700 acres. I've, I've seen both numbers in, in what I could find about it. Uh, some numbers say 600, some say almost 700, so somewhere in that area anyway. The Conecuh River runs out of Gant Lake. As soon as you cross the dam at Gant, there's a small stretch of river that is actually the headwaters of Point A Lake. And then uh, over here behind, close to where we're going next, uh, the Patsaliga River runs into Point A as well. There is an RV campground close by. Um, there is plenty of lodging either up at Gant, the lodging that we mentioned there, or in Andalusia. And there are stores fairly close by. This, this lake is situated uh, in between River Falls and Gant. So there are stores on, on both sides of the, both ends of the lake. And then through the dam runs out, and that's the Conecuh River. It picks up on the Conecuh River video and goes all the way down to the Florida line. Um, for cellular service, let's see what we've got here. I've got three bars of 5G service here. Uh, it's, it's a pretty place to, to uh, come and paddle around. It's a pretty place to come and fish. The lake has a pretty healthy population of crappie and bass, brim, especially shell cracker. And the tail race below the dam has a good fishery for white bass, crappie and catfish, especially this time of year, spring and early summer is, is a great time to, to fish right below the dam. There is a fishing pier below the dam and it's on, I guess you'd call this the, the west bank of the river um, below the, the dam there. There, there's access from the east side as well, but uh, it's, it's not improved and not, uh, not easily accessible. Uh, the headwater, of, I mean the uh, tail race from the dam there, the headwater of the rest of the river is also a good place to look for fossils, shark's teeth, stuff like that. This is the ramp in the pier here at Point A Park. It's a double ramp, got a, a good pier to go out if you want to launch a boat or a kayak. For kayaks and canoes, there's plenty of places on the bank to, to pull up at once you're clear of the ramp. Now looking at the map of Point A Lake, this is the RV campground here. It's just a little piece up the road from, from the park here. There are signs that will direct you to it. It's easy to find. The swimming area and the boat ramp where we're at now are right out here on this point. And then uh, the picnic area right behind us. The uh, there's a dirt ramp also. I'm not exactly even sure where that's at. Um, yes, I am. That's going to be the next ramp that we go to. It's uh, the unpaved ramp and it's uh, free to use. There's not as good a parking, and of course not the facilities or the playgrounds and all there that there are here, but it's a, uh, a good place to launch and recover also. Here's the dam, and over here on the west bank of the dam, or actually on the northwest side of, uh, northwest end of the dam, the west bank of the river, is where the fishing pier's at. There's a dirt road that goes into it. This is the Conecuh River coming down from Gant Lake. This is the Patsaliga River coming into point A here. And then the Conecuh continues below the dam. So where I'm at now is the Point A Fishing Pier, and, and it's, it's right over my shoulder here. There's a lot of people in there fishing, and I don't want to go down there to film and bother them. But uh, it used to be the old bridge on this road going across, or on the road that goes across between Gant and Point A. And when they rebuilt and relocated the road, they left the bridge there, and now you can come down here and fish on it. Uh, it it's pretty good deep water. It's right where the Patsaliga River comes into the lake at. And uh, 
it's a, a good place to catch crappie, uh, sometimes brim, um, maybe hybrid stripes, stuff like that. Now, on the road coming down here, there's an unpaved ramp that's free to use. The, the fishing pier here is free to use as well. The, um, the fishing ramp that, that's up here, you can't miss it. When you turn off the road, it's marked by the sign that says fishing pier. Uh, the ramp is down there. There's somebody fishing down there by the ramp also. So uh, we didn't want to stop and bother them either. And, and on the way back out, the guy that was fishing here is left. So I stop and grab a quick shot of the uh, unpaved ramp here. And it's got markers out there that say uh, where not to get your trailer passed. Okay, this is the point A public boat launch. Uh, it's got signs out by the road that indicate where it's at or what, what it is as, as you come by it too. They have a paved ramp here in the pier. This is on the, uh, right at the uh, mouth of the Patsalaga River where the Patsalaga empties into the lake. There's a, a lot more current right now than there usually is. Uh, that's been the case with pretty much every river landing we've done throughout this whole series. And uh, like I said before, that's just the time of year we have right now. Um, I did forget to mention over at the Point A Pier uh, that we just left, there are primitive campsites there. Uh, you'll see them marked, they're, they're marked on the way down. There are picnic tables all the way out to the pier. There's covered pavilions and picnic tables too on the little pull-offs where you can park. Now at this ramp, there's plenty of parking. And uh, even if the, the immediate boat launch right here is full, just probably a hundred or so yards down the road is the continuation of this same park. There's a big parking lot there. There's a pavilion, picnic tables, stuff like that. It, it's all uh, kept mowed and maintained. So this is a, uh, a good place. I'm not sure about the Patsaliga River. We're still uh, investigating on uh, launches and landings on the Patsaliga itself. But if you floated down the Patsaliga River, floated down the Patsalaga River from uh, Hazlet Bridge or from one of the other bridges up, uh, upstream from here, this would be the, uh, the end of the river run and a place to take out at. And this is the road that goes uh, down to the dam. We're, we're actually looking at the end of the dam on the west bank right now. And this is the side that the fishing pier is on. When you get down to the dam, right down in here below the dam is where the fishing pier is at. Now by this point the light hadn't failed us so we were able to make a, a pass through the RV park and you can see the uh, campsites here are pull through so you don't really have to back in anywhere you can just pull straight through. There are electric and water hookups and there's a dump station as you're leaving the campground here. I have no idea on the fee schedule here. Uh, I didn't see anyone at the office to be able to ask but uh it's a pretty quiet place. This entire lake, uh, all of these access points are available along one road. The road between Gant and Point A is uh, four miles long, and all of, all of these points that we've been to are all in the western two miles of that four. So uh, it, it's I'll put the coordinates up here on the map in a minute for all of the for all of the uh, points and, and we'll just put them all on one map. 